it might be World War III starting. Who knows? We saw some uh, some heated stuff happening over in uh, Israel uh, by Iran. I'm going to read this story here. This is Reuters. Um, they're usually decent for this kind of stuff. They don't put too much spin on it, but let's see what they have to say. So Iranians anxious as Israel weighs strike response. So April 15th, today. Uh, the prospect of Israel retali- Israeli retaliation against Iran for its drone and missile attack on the weekend has alarmed many Iranians uh, already facing economic pain and tighter social and political controls after protests in 20, 2022 and 2023. Iran's political and military leaders have repeatedly warned that they will respond to any Israeli retaliation by escalating further, potentially triggering yet more attacks. That's funny, eh? So it's like somebody comes up to you, punches you in the face, and then they say, well, if you punch back... Well, we're going to escalate this. Well, fuck you. Anyways, I mean, obviously, for all our sakes, we hope that it doesn't escalate. But, you know, they would be, you know, they, they, would, they would have course to, to, uh, to escalate it a little bit. Uh, and that would only be bad news for ordinary people, said 45-year-old teacher Hassam from the northern city of Amal. Economic pressure will mount. Our safety will be jeopardized. We must avoid conflict at all costs. I don't want a war. How can I protect my two chil- children? Nowhere will be safe. Housewife uh, Parv- Parvana fears an Israeli strike could be the final hammer blow to the economy, weakened by years of sanctions, mismanagement, and corruption. She's referring to Iran, obviously. We Iranians have endured more than enough for years. War brings only disaster. My husband is a factory worker. We do not have enough money to buy staples, let alone stockpiling them, uh, said the 37-year-old mother of two in the central city of Yazd. Or yats, yeah, whatever it is. Hard to pronounce these things with my English tongue. Uh, Middle and lower income Iranians are shouldering much of the burden of the existing economic woes, with inflation over fifty percent, rising utility, food, and housing prices, and and the rile currency. Oh, and the rile currency falling sharply. I guess that's their currency. I didn't even know that. To be honest, there has been pride mixed in with the fear over Iran's retaliation against what. Tehran said was an Israeli strike on its consulate in Damascus on April 1st. I'm so proud of of the attacks on Israel. Israel, they stated, or they started it. We had to retaliate. Israel cannot do a damn thing. They know Iran is very powerful. Hossein Sabahi, 30, a government employee in Tabriz City, told Reuters. Shortly after the attack, state TV showed small demonstrations in small cities in support of Tehran's unprecedented assault with people chanting, death to Israel and death to America. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm in Canada, so, you know, you guys put this shit on yourself, I guess, over you you Yanks. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're like your, we're one of your states up here. We will be more isolated, but the uh, markets show the harsh economy realities or economic realities behind the defiance. War jitters sent demand for hard currency soaring. The rile briefly plummeted to a new record low of around 705000 to the U.S. dollar during Saturday's attack, according to Bombast, uh, which gathers live data from the Iranian exchanges. People are buying hard currency since Sunday. There has been a boost in my business due to the fear of war, said a businessman in Tehran. Iran's rulers may have something to worry about. The intelligence unit of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps issued a, st- a startling statement on Sunday warning against any pro-Israeli Posts by Iranian social media users, state media reported. Some Iranian opponents of the clerical establishment inside and outside Iran have gone as far as voicing support for Israel online. Many people are frustrated because of economic woes and social restrictions. An Israeli strike could unleash their pent up anger and ri- revive protests, which is the last thing we need when threatened by a foreign enemy, said a former official in UN's or in Iran's moderate camp. The overall sense of anxiety only increased when some Western governments began evacuating the families of their diplomats, reminding older Iranians of the feverish atmosphere when Iraq invaded in 1980 or during the the tumult of the 1979 revolution. Foreigners leaving Iran is a sign that we we will be attacked by Israel. We We will be more isolated. We will be more miserable, said engineer Mohammad Reza in Tehran, who, like others, do not want to give his full name. So, obviously, there's some fear going on in Iran. There's fear. Uh, I mean, Israel's lived in fear, um, you know, since last year, since those attacks, since those awful attacks by Hamas. But 
I mean, I think Israel is kind of, you know, they're used to being in the center of the conflict. They're, they're like a, you know, fish out of water over there. And right? it's basically they're, they're surrounded by a bunch of places that kind of hate them. But uh, if this doesn't cool down, if this kind of heats up a little bit, we could be in trouble. These are, uh, this is not, this is scary shit when these, these two powers, one backed by the U.S. and the other backed by nuclear weapons and a little bit, you know, unhinged gets into it. So let's, uh, if you pray, now might be the time to pray.